Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan time. You're joking, aren't you? No. <laughs> yeah, you are. I can see you smiling. Anyways, I hope everybody is doing well. Alhamdulillah, I am fine. I also hope everybody is fasting. Alhamdulillah, I am fasting. I'm fasting. <laughs> Just remember, when you're fasting, and not only when you're fasting, but you should never backbite. The Arabic term for backbiting is ghiba. Ghiba means when you are talking bad about your brother or sister in their absence. Ghiba is not forgiven until the person whom you spoke about has forgiven you. So, after you have taken part in ghiba, you must ask for forgiveness. If the person you are trying to ask for forgiveness has passed away or you cannot find them, then you should make lots and lots of dua until you feel that you have paid them back. Let's move on to the good deed of the day. The good deed of the day is... Write a letter to someone... After the good deed, second is Hadith and last is... So I don't have it in the end. Anyways, the good deed of the day is to write a letter to someone who has made a difference in your life, regardless of how big or small. So, a person that you can write a letter to could be your mother or your father. Or, it could be anybody in your family or, as well, or your friends. Even, even when your birthday is here, you can get a card of pres- <laughs> presents. So to me, huh? Do you know that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "The most beloved people to Allah are those who are most beneficial to the people. The most beloved deed to Allah is to make a Muslim happy, or to remove one of his troubles, or to forgive his debt, or to feed his hunger." So to me, huh? Are we going to write a letter to someone? Maybe your mum, your dad, your relatives, your friends, your family. Mm-hmm. Who are you going to write a letter to? Um, mummy. <laughs> Let's move on to Hadith. An Abi Huraira radiallahu anhu qala, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, al-mu'minu al-qawiyu khayrun wa ahabbu ila Allahi min al-mu'minu al-da'ifi wa fi kullin khayrun ihris Ala ma yang fa'uka wasta'in billahi wala ta'jaz fa in asabaka shay'un fala taqul law anni fa'altu kadha wa kadha lakana kadha wa kadha walakin qul qaddara Allahu wa ma sha'a Allahu fa'al fa in law taftahu amala shaytan it is reported on the authority of Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the strong believer is better and more loved by Allah than the weak believer but in both of them there is good yeah. work hard for that which benefits you and seek help from Allah and do not give up if you are stricken by misfortune, do not say, if only I had done such and such. Rather say, Allah has decreed and what Allah wills, he does. For verily, the words, if only, open the door to shaitan's works. Let's have a look at the lesson of the hadith. Number one, the strong believer is more loved by Allah than the weak believer. Okay. So do you want to be a strong believer or a weak believer? Strong. Yeah. Number two. The weak believer is also loved by Allah. Just remember that, okay? Number three. That there is good in both of them. Number four. We should always work hard towards goodness and seek help from Allah. Number five. We should always accept Allah's Qadr, predestined plan for us, and not keep wishing for something else. Okay. Let's move on to the discussion section. Samiha, I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay, and I'm going to answer them. Yeah. Number one, should we try to be a strong or weak believer? 
strong. Yeah, you can be a weak believer as well, but it is better to be a strong believer because he is more loved by Allah. Number two, to prepare for our school exams, we should study hard. What else should we do? Um, read. We should study and ask Allah for help. Okay. Number three, if we accidentally fall and hurt ourselves during the school sport day, we should not be angry but accept that was Allah's plan for us and just be more careful next time we are running. True or false? True. Yes, that is true. Now that we've finished Hadith, let's move on to Sora Learning Time. So, Samiha, I'm going to teach you Surah Al Asr. Repeat after me. Tomorrow I'm going to say it by myself. Yeah. Mm. Are you going to do it by yourself, inshallah? Yeah, but I didn't know the first one. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إن الذين آمنوا إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وعملوا الصالحات وتواسوا بالحق وتواسوا بالحق وتواسوا بالصبر وتواسوا بالصبر والعصر والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وعملوا الصالحات وتواسوا بالحق وتواسوا بالحق وتواسوا بالصبر وتواسوا بالصبر Well done. Now tomorrow you're going to say it by yourself. Okay. Inshallah. Now it's the end of the video. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Inshallah. <laughs>